Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug and oh my god, what's that? Could it be a print? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Today on Doug Does Stuff, we are talking, actually, we're talking our Anycubic Cobras 1 Gobbo and hate to do it to you, I really do. We're talking our bed level on our any cubic here and all of the issues that we've had with it. But in order to do that, I needed to do a print. So here's the print. It's not bad, but I did print it in the middle of the bed. What are we doing? We're going to take a uh, gauge and we're going to measure probe all around to see how off our bed is. Sure, it'd be easy if I installed wrinkles and, well, you know, what you know, if you know, I can't. So, yeah, so I went ahead, printed an adapter to go on the, uh, on the fan, and then we'll uh, do our thing and move it around. So let me go ahead, take off the supports on this, and we'll go from there. Okay, I've gone ahead and pulled off all the supports that I printed to support all of the necessary stuff. And like, look, yeah, it's a good top layer. Yeah, it, it printed pretty well even through the inside. And But that's not why we're here. We're here to check out, do we have a level that or not? Look at that. It fits right in there. So... I am going to move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to have to work together as always to, to see this. And we're going to see, is my bed somewhat, oh my God, is my bed warped? Because, well, I want to know. So here we go. We're going to come down. Okay. So we got our dial indicator, our digital dial indicator set up and it's in the back corner of the plate because back there is my low spot on this uh, not so level bed. Now in order to record this I'm just gonna write on a piece of paper and then we'll come back and check it out. So I've got to do this with the printer off because I got to move the tool head uh, I guess by hand. So our first indicator is zero. We're gonna to go to that side of the bed towards the middle and the middle is, oh geez 0.4 already 0.47 right, let's keep going all the way across point five five and I'm doing this by hand because I don't know how else I would move it without it because I'd have to home it and it would crash into the bed and stuff and well we don't want that. Alright, so now we're gonna have to come forward. Oh, are you kidding me? Point eight. Ah, <sighs> point six. Point three, you know, if I could just install wrinkles in a cubic, this would be probably far more precise. Point eight, let's go to the middle. Point nine five. And oh, look at that! One, one two six. So we have a difference of 1.26 from the high to the low. It every well, it doesn't like yeah, everything is high looking at the numbers quickly. Everything sweeps to the right. So let's just make sure that we have this correct. Yep, that is reading zero, zero still. 
0.37. It's kind of splitting it. There's that middle, 0 0.63. 0 0.66, that, well, kind of makes sense. Hold on a second, I want to get this one. 0 0.27 0.3, oh my god 0.39 0.72 see if this up here should be 0.95 or close to it depending on 0.95 over here should be 0.8. Just trying to repeat the numbers I got. 0.83. All right, so <laughs> let me zoom you out. That's not zooming out. That's zooming out. So yeah, um, that was way too much work to figure out that my bed. Well, I'm gonna change the light here for you. To find out that my bed is not level and it looks like using at least this indicator that my high spot over here in the front corner 126 all the way back to the way back zero back there so a 1.26 difference um, not very accurately but there's a problem now here's the thing let's heat it up and see what happens All right, I've zoomed you out. We're at zero, zero, zero. I'm gonna put my bed at 60. This will turn off on me, so I gotta, here we go, ready? And on. Now, as this heats up, you're gonna be able to see, as this goes, what happens down there. All right, pay attention. All right, we are a minute 45 in. We're at 50 degrees and the bed has warped 0.1 in a minute. Well, it's here, let's go to two minutes. We are at the two minute mark. Now we're at 56 degrees Celsius and our bed has warped 0.13. It has warped 0.13 already. Well, 0.14. So, the longer we let this sit, the more warp we're going to get. 0.15, we're at 60 degrees Celsius. Now we're just in kind of heat soak mode. And our bed has warped 0.16. That's a lot. I mean, coming from zero to that 0.17 the longer this goes the more the bed is is coming up it's bending up because we were at zero so the bed is twisting twisting up as it heats up pushing up on the caliper in the back like we're at like 0.19 we are three minutes and ten seconds in now what is going to happen when we hit 10 minutes? Oh, 0.2. The greatest deviation I want to see on, on my bed mesh is like 0 0.15. 0 0.2, okay. Not, what was this? 1.2 previously? That's one millimeter, 1.2 millimeters. That, that was huge for a cold plate. 
we're at 0.22. We are at the four minute mark. Daddy, we're going to start probing the bed. That looks great, dude. Just for you in your bedroom. That, I will. That's going up in my bedroom. That's a great print. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here. But can I show the these ones? Yeah, we're, we'll show everybody as soon as I'm done. All right, we're at the four minute mark. Now we're at 0.24. Oh, it just Where turned off. 0.27 now. All right, let's move it up here in the corner. This was 1.2. It is now 1.3. Let's go to the middle of the bed, which was 0.76. Oh, whoa! I actually was expecting that to be point like 0.76, not 1.2. Holy cow! All right, the back corner was 0.52. It is now 0.72. Everything seems to be off by 0.2. Well, that's off by 0.25. That's off by a half a millimeter in the middle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom you down so you can see what I'm doing. All right, let's go to the front right corner, which was 0.8. That, it's changed by 0.1, right? Not too bad. Let's go back to the back corner where it was 0, 0, 0. It is now 0.24, which is where it was. So we are five minutes in. Our bed has warped by 0.24 in the back, the middle 0.6, that was, or 0.72, that's a 0.2 warp. Back here, 0.76, that's a 0.2 warp. 1.2, that is a 0.7. This is a huge warp right here. Right through the middle of the bed is an enormous, look at that, 1.2, that's a 0.5. This over here was 0.36, and it is 0.7, oh my god, that's a close to a half a millimeter warp. This was 0.81, yep, that's consistent with where it just was. This middle up front was 9.7, 1.3. And then one more over here, 1.34. So, you know what I'm going to do? i got to write these down so I can put it down. We're at six minutes in. Here's our, I'm just going to write it down at the, we're going to call it the 6.30 mark of a heat soak. We are at 1.34. Make sure I was in the kind of the right spot. One, eh, we'll benefit of the doubt, 1.32. Let's reverse this in the middle. 130. <sighs> any cubic, any cubic. 0.94. As I let this keep going, it's it's just getting worse. I would say that what I'm gonna have to start doing, 0.69, is letting this thing heat soak for like 10-15 minutes before I level it for every print. That is insane. It really is. 1.17. All right. Uh, coming to the back here. 0.8. Coming to the back middle. 0.89. No, point, well, I'm going to say 0.9. I'm going to split that difference there. And this back here where it was 0 is 0.27. That's awesome. All right, so uh, we are at seven minutes and 45 seconds. You saw what happened um, as our bed heated up. Um, yeah. I'm waiting for a new bed from AnyCubic. Hopefully it does better. Um, I am going to run a first layer test after... I let this thing heat soak for 15 minutes, uh, which I got another seven minutes to go, and we'll see how it goes, right? Um, yikes.